is one retro that I've been looking for for a long, 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 long time because I'm a big fan of that period of like Nike cross training shoes from like the mid 80s to the mid 90s are these. The Nike Mac attacks are back. The OGs are back. Look at these loveliness. And if you don't remember these, these were basically um, John McEnroe's pro model back in the day when he was playing tennis. That's kind of a basically essentially it. And at the time, they were really kind of controversial and different because back in the day, if you were playing tennis, you were only really allowed to wear white shoes. You weren't really allowed to wear anything quote unquote colored. So with, with these being mostly gray with black and whatnot, they really kind of were striking on the field, even though nowadays people are wearing pink shoes and whatnot and all this sort of non craziness, like different color shoes on each foot. This was a real kind of difference when you were kind of, you know, growing up at the times that John McEnroe was playing basketball, sorry, playing um, tennis at the time. So these are coming back and absolutely love them. And to me, again, they kind of remind me a little bit of, um, uh, they kind of a little bit remind me of uh, Air Trainer Ones, which again is one of my favorite shoes that I would definitely wear to walk, want to wear to the gym. So these are definitely ones that I would definitely purchase as like kind of weird um, cross you know cross training gym shoes um to, to wear because i'm not really a fan as much as i have them now i'm not really a fan of like low cut gym shoes i like them to be a bit mid i like that kind of mid shape similar to like an air trainer one and this sort of of course fills that category without looking too bulky and of course with them being tennis shoes they're going to have good grip they're going to be really comfortable and easy to wear blah 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 and nice breathability so it says here um the comeback of this iteration marks the first time that night the kicks have been ever seen in retro release the high profile model and the Nike family, such as the LeBron James and Travis Scott, spotted rocking the vintage pair back in 2021. Rumored to touch down during spring 2023, the Mac Attack OGs will be fashioned with original design cues. Its upper build is formed of mesh underlays and smooth leather overlays, both of which are treated with leather gray, sorry, with a lighter gray hue. Um, navy accents then um, infiltrate the swooshes and mesh and toe boxes and the tongues and device. Okay, cool. It's navy. Yeah, quick. I feel it's black. Enjoy the first look at the pair, the gallery below, and expect on release. Really so announced retail soon so retail hasn't been announced soon but sometime later this year we're going to get them you see the outsole here nice bit of tread there for the grip out there in the course the only thing i'm kind of concerned about is the leather quality the leather looks a little bit cheap if you kind of zoom in so it doesn't look like the best leather in the world but again um just in terms of getting that model being able to buy one retro i'm definitely on it because it's really hard to find ogs of these especially cheap especially since travis scott wore them now they go up to crazy prices because he just basically put them on his feet which is fucking annoying but it's nice to see them coming back again so yeah mac attacks are due to coming back again one of my favorite shoes and i cannot wait for them to officially drop when they 